trying to mess up my hands more. In the prickly pear cactus it's everywhere here in Arizona. You can't even drive like eight of a mile without seeing a whole bunch. And most of them are just as big as this one. And this is a major road. I would like to pick them further into the desert. However, I'm afraid of the snakes and I never have the right shoes because usually it's in a way home from work. So I kind of have to stick with the ones along the road, but the traffic here, it's never too heavy. So I doubt there is that much pollution in them. The number one advice I can give you when you venture out like me to pick prickly pears and way home from work. Number, well, number one, don't eat anything I tell you to eat. Do your own research. But also, here is the prickly pear. Nice big plant with quite a bit of fruit. But also make sure to wear like gardening boots or rain boots. I'm on my, my way home from work, so I have no choice. And I saw that guy over here. So I'm gonna pick some fruit, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna try and just pick top fruit so I can leave the bottom for the animals. Although there is so many of them here that I'm not really concerned about the wild animals starving. So because I have to be very careful, I'm not gonna film that because I have to both watch my hands and watch watch for snakes. And right now I'm really close to home and I could just go home and grab a pair of tongs. However, I'm too lazy to do that, so I'm just gonna pick them by hand again. And uh, I know they're close to the road, but again, I'm not wearing boots, so I don't wanna venture too far into the desert because it's a rattlesnake season. So we'll pick them now. What I'm gonna do is I have this little cloth here folded. And let me see, let me do it so you can see as well. So I'll grab the prickly pear. You see how many thorns they are in the actual uh, cloth that I used? And then twist it around and pull. There you go. There's another one. So I grab it, twist it around and pull. All right, so I'm gonna try and film this, but that yellow dot that you see in my finger, oh, right there this is cluster of thorns you have to be very careful not like me there is no way i thought that i'm gonna be super careful grabbing those with just with my bare fingers trying to grab around the thorns but they're all over both of my fingers so first i'm gonna start by filling up the sink with water and while the sink is filling up with water cold water which the cold water here is not cold i'm gonna start jumping guys here you see how the water is here. This is the ice that I just dumped like 45 seconds ago. So the sink is full of ice and cold water. So now I'm gonna dump my prickly pear fruit here. And this is how you film with your iPhone, something that you're doing in the sink and just hope that the phone doesn't fall in the water. So here are my prickly pear cactus fruit, everything I picked. And they are, I can see them from here, they are full of thorns. So Trust me, you have to be careful. So I'm gonna dump all this in my water and this one goes immediately to the trash and I already got a thorn in my finger. And then you take a spatula and you start cooking them. And I'm going to do this for about, I would say, five, six minutes. And the reason, the reason I'm putting ice in it is because when the prickly pear hits against the ice, that will help with the removing of the thorns. So I'm just creating like a little uh, laundry machine over here. Make sure that they bounce against one another, bounce against the ice, bounce against the sides of the sink. I'm gonna make them all nice and busy. So if you're gonna venture out into the desert to pick prickly pears, I am, I'm just gonna warn you, even if it's just off the road, always watch for snakes, never never be too brave. And a lot of times you've seen in my videos that I am a little too brave and I actually don't call it bravery, I call it stupidity. But always use caution because you are in the desert. And uh, a couple of things I wanna tell you to keep in mind when picking up the prickly pear. Number one, I try to always pick the fruit that it's on the top of the plant, the cactus plant, and leave the bottom fruit for the animals. Another thing is pick them when they're dark purple because over here in the pot or in the sink I see a couple that might not be completely ripe but you know when you're looking out for snakes and picking at the same time you may end up picking some that are not too ripe. So they have to be dark purple like this one over here, this one. 
might not be so ready, but we'll see when I cut them open. So always make sure to pick the dark ones. Late July is the best time to pick them into early August. At this point, I think they're pretty much done. I'm gonna do a close up, take one out and check the sides. So here is the one I just took out and I'm touching it, I'm rubbing it pretty nicely with my hand and I don't feel any thorns anywhere. Yeah, this one definitely doesn't have any, otherwise you would have heard me screaming right now. And now I'm gonna start taking the prickly pear fruit out of this water and put it there so I can rinse them and if there are any thorns left, kind of just stuck to the fruit, I'm just gonna rinse those off. I wonder if I'm spraying water on the camera right now, hopefully not. And uh, in this step here, washing them, if you're worried, because they might still be a little thorns left, if you're worried about them getting into your hands, you can just wear kitchen gloves like this and that will protect you just fine. It doesn't slow down the process at all. And always make sure when you're done working to rinse everything off because of the set. The thorns are fine and they're gonna be stuck to a lot of things, so make sure to rinse everything off. And now, as you can see, I already ate a couple. The moment of truth. So the first thing I'm gonna do, it's row the prickly pear a little bit, just as such. All right. And then I'm just gonna cut the bottom end. And you see when you roll it like this, it's very easy to peel. I see a lot of people peeling them with a knife, but that get rid of a lot of the meat when you're peeling it with a knife. Just like this, you see how easy it is? And you can feel uh, the difference between peeled and not peeled because the peeled one is pretty slippery. And once you peel it, you cut the bottom end as well. And then slice it in half. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And then take a little spoon and just scoop out the seeds. It looked like I murdered somebody. <laughs> but now I'm gonna slice it. Very good. That is very good. I like it. Definitely wear gloves. So prickly pear, it's pretty delicious. If you get a chance, try it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Right. Or you can just take your thumbs.